hi booze welcome back to my channel welcome back to this face if this is your first time don't make your last what about fashion lifestyle and a bunch of general nonsense and recently lots of pregnancy videos <laughs> or pregnancy inspired videos or related videos whatever you want to call it because your girl is pregnant <laughs> i like mentioning that <laughs> Because I feel like I always have new viewers and new subscribers and I just need to inform them with the, you know, update of things. I am pregnant with my third child now and I already have two boys. So yeah, if you're new here, that is the update for your girl. <laughs> so yeah, like the title of the video says, this is going to be a list of names that we're not going to be using for our baby that is on the way. But I just feel like they're so cute and they're so perfect. Fun fact, <laughs> anytime I get pregnant, as soon as I find out I'm pregnant, I am one to start writing down names. Whether I know it's a boy or a girl, I don't care the gender, but I always have a list on my notes with different names that I would like to give the baby. So, <laughs> I always have a list. Always have a list. I am always ready. I am always prepared. And I don't just come up with like one. I can have like 10 names and then I'll decide which one. But I always get drawn to one like even though i have a list of names i always get drawn to one and just a disclaimer these are all english names i am the worst when it comes to traditional names like Igbo names local names i leave that to my husband it's just i don't know how people come up with unique i admire those that come up with unique Igbo names it's just i just can't <laughs> i don't know how to come up with unique Igbo names so i don't even bother do you understand so but with english names i take my time i do my research their names i'm already hearing the here and there like people that already have the names names that have good meaning names that are unique names that like not everyone in your child's school will be bearing that like, when they call the name everybody will answer i don't want to shake some tables but there are some names like that <laughs> there are some, and i don't blame people because i feel like when a name is nice and it kind of reaches nigeria <laughs> once it gets to us and we like it everybody's gonna answer that name so basically this video is just going to be a list of names that i have heard before or names i've always said that they are really nice they sound nice the meaning is nice all of that so i'll give you five names for boys and i'll give you five names for girls and, and i'll give you five names for girls and i have one unisex name as well too that i really love but these are the names i'm not using and i felt like i should share it with you guys in case you're inspired or in case you want to take it it's okay I dash you <laughs> take it for sure because they're really nice names if i had like 10 children i would give them all these names but obviously i don't have 10 kids <laughs> let me start with my first child sage sage like i said is a unisex name but most people that answer it are girls but is a unisex name because it means wisdom it means a wise one a wise person do you understand and for some reason when i was just pregnant with this boy I didn't even, I think I, I thought about the name. Okay, no, actually, I, I honestly, I thought about the name before I found out the gender. But I knew the gender before I decided that Sage was going to be his name. And I had to convince my husband that, that, that I'm Baba in convincing him that these names are nice. Like, just leave it. I know what I'm saying. It's a very nice, unique name. Because the fact that it was unique kept on saying, which one is Sage? Which one is Sage? People will not understand. People, I say, forget what people will understand or not. This boy is going to be a wise boy. He's going to be a very wise special boy like he's i just felt it in my spirit and i was like this boy is going to answer sage that is his name sage wise one smart one intelligent one like next level and even besides that literal meaning sage as well you know when you born sage it's kind of removing like the negative energy negative vibes around you and bringing positive energy as well so that meaning as well to make sense and there's something about sage that the color sage green green sage and that period i was going through my phase of green loving green i still love green but i was really going through like loving green and i just loved the color sage sage is like a shade of green it's like this almost like a gray green like it's a washed up green i don't know how to explain it i'll try and put a picture of what like sage this color sage looks like so everything just made sense i was like the color the removing of negative energy for positive energy positive vibes and just being a smart boy everything just makes sense he has to be called sage do you understand like my spirit just told me this boy is going to be called sage i know how name has power this boy has come out he's a very wise oh god this we always say he's an old man in a small boy's body like i always tell you guys we call him prof prof he's very smart he's very wise he's just he has this loving energy very quiet chilled energy that I'm not explaining like i just know that the name has definitely contributed to the kind of person he is do you understand 
So yeah, that is for my first son, Sage. Perfect. The next son, <laughs> which was Liam. Liam, actually, I'm not going to take the credit. My husband gave him the name. <laughs> but I agreed to the name because it made sense. He gave me some other list of names we can give him. But Liam made sense because Liam means the protector, the strong one. You understand? And it just made sense. Liam is really the protector and the strong one. <laughs> he really is. Liam doesn't have time for anybody. Like, he's the kind of person that will protect his brother from any harm. He is that definition of a second born. He does not have time for anybody. No time for emotions to be mushy. He's there to fight you. He's there to protect. He's there to be a leader. He has that, you know, I'm not explaining, like, the strong one, the protector, and all of that. I love the name Liam as well. The name sounds cute. It's something that is cute. You know, sometimes when you're thinking of names, you have to think of the fact that the baby has to bear the name as a baby and as an adult. Sometimes we focus on just it being a baby name. But do you think of it sometimes when the child is like now 40 years or 50 years, like to be called that name as well? Do you understand? And I felt like it was perfect because I know a lot of old guys that are called Liam. We have Liam Nielsen, we have Liam Hemsworth, we have a lot of Liams. And I was like, yeah, I love the name Liam. It makes sense. I love it. I love the name Sage as well. So like Sage is just giving me President. President Sage. <laughs> Dr. Sage, <laughs> Engineer Sage, <laughs> like any 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 kind of title you want to give it, Mr. Sage, like there's something about Sage, like when he just comes, he come, walks into your room, Mr. Sage, Sage said, do you know where I'm coming from? <laughs> so anyways, I hope all that makes sense. So let me now get into the list of names I have for you guys that I feel like they're just so cute and they're so special. And I hope it makes a difference in anyone's life there that is trying to look for names, cute baby names. Okay, let's get right into it. So I'll start with girls first. So with girls, the first name on my list is Reina. Reina that can be spelled R-A-E-N-A. Reina. Or Reina that can be spelled R-A-I-N-A. Reina. I love the name Reina. And I think I heard this name in Power. You guys know Power. Like um the, the show. The show power ghost his daughter's name was reina and ever since i heard that name i was like this is a very lovely name i love the name reina and it means queen royalty queen reina i love reina like definitely number one on my list i love reina reina queen reina <laughs> definitely <laughs> number two just like reina is renee renee so spelled r-e-n-e -E, but it has Recomelo somewhere. <laughs> it has something pointing up because it's a French name. Rene. Rene. I love Rene too. Rene. Rene. It's a very nice name as well. You guys will be like only R R names. Well yeah, just stick with me, stick with me. Rene, like I said, is a French name and it means reborn. Like to reborn. Like to you know when they say incarnation, know how we believe in incarnation in our in our in our society or in our culture. When you feel like you, you, you kind of give it to your grandparents or you give it to your grandmom or your mom or something reborn and it's a French name and I think it's perfect, Rene and I think it's unique, I don't think I've heard a lot of people ask him Rene like Rene, it's rare, it's kind, it's kind of unique to, to an extent, I've not heard it so much so yeah definitely, Rene is a nice name Dahlia, D-A-L-I-A, Dahlia it means protected by God, it's a very nice name, very nice meaning, Dahlia I've not heard people ask him Dahlia Dahlia. Hmm. Dahlia. Hi, Dahlia. Sounds like darling. Hi, Dahlia. <laughs> when you're naming your kids, don't worry about how people spoiling it because no matter the kind of name you give your child, someone somewhere will spoil it. No matter how simple and straightforward, someone somewhere will still spoil it. So don't even think about it. Focus on yourself. Focus on the future of the child. Do you understand? <laughs> don't worry about people that will spoil it. They will spoil it. <laughs> Dahlia. Protected by God. Very lovely name. I love that name so much. Dahlia. Dahlia. Love it. <laughs> Sadie. S A D I E. Sadie. Hmm. I love Sadie. It's a Hebrew name as well. Sadie. Sadie. <laughs> I feel like the more I say it, does it happen to you guys that when you keep on saying the name, like you just keep on saying it, it feels like it sounds nice. You know, I'm thinking of different ways you can use the name. Hi, Sadie. Come here. Come. Did you see Sadie? Sadie. 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 <laughs> Sadie. It means princess, just like how Reina means um, queen. This means princess, like my cute little princess, Sadie. <laughs> I love the name. Sadie. Sadie. Princess. Sadie. I love the name. It's a very nice name. Hebrew. Hebrew. Love it. 
last for the girl names i have on my list josie josie is actually my cousin's daughter's name and i've always loved the name josie and you know josie are the pussycats <laughs> but josie i've always loved the name josie josie lovely and it means god will add like god will add to whatever you, add, you have this is a very lovely name and it has a lovely meaning god will add god will increase like just more add more increase all of that i love it josie 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 hi josie i love it so much love 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 the name so yeah those are my top five names for girls if you have like if you're, if you're planning on having a girl or you're pregnant for a girl i think these names are so cute and they're so unique i've not really heard it that much like they're a bit com they're a bit um unique not as common as the ones we already know do you understand so i think yeah you should definitely look into it if you love these names and then like i said i have one unisex name but i think i'll share it when i'm done with the boys name let me share that last so let's go to the boys list of boy names that i feel like are so cute as well okay for a pro like me that i've had two boys <laughs> And I'm always ready with boy names. Like, I'm like, don't talk to me. I have boy names. He choke plenty of it. Let's start with the first one on my list. Axel. See, <laughs> the way I love the name Axel. Axel is a bit, let's say, let's say it's common. It's not that common, but I love Axel. And I've heard Axel here and there. But I love the name Axel. 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 Ax. I know, I'm watching billions. <laughs> I mentioned it in one of my vlogs, but I said we're watching Billions. It's a show that came out a long time ago, but I said we're watching it. And the main character, his name is Axel Rod. But even besides him being Axel Rod, just the name Axel, Ax, Ax, you can call him Ax, you can call him Axel. I love the name. It means father of peace. It means father of peace. So it actually has a good meaning. Father of peace, shield, peace, all of that. It's, it's, it makes sense. Axel, Axel, Ax. Hey, Ax. Axel, I love it, and I mean the character name Axel. He was a billionaire, so speak into it. Speak into it. Like your child, your son is gonna be a billionaire. I love that name so much, Axel. Hmm. Love it. <laughs> Next on my list is Kendrick. I love Kendrick so much. Kendrick, Kendrick. I mean Kendrick Lamar, but let's calm down. Kendrick, Kendrick. It's it's. You can call him Ken. I know most people like my husband is Ken. I'm um, Kendrick, and they call him Ken or Casey. So most people when they see Ken, they assume it's an is an Igbo name like Kendrick. But I'm like, no, it's Kendrick. It's Kendrick, not Kendrick. Kendrick. I love Kendrick. Hmm. Kendrick. Hmm. <laughs> Kendrick is a nice name. Like I've I've really heard Kendrick that much here. Kendrick was well, a very. I like the name. It's very posh. Like hi Kendrick. Hi. Hi Ken, hi Kendrick, and it means royal power, royal power, it's a very, very nice meaning as well, so Kendrick, love it. Same. The next one is Alfred, Alfred, which means like sage as well, wise one, so it's kind of a similar meaning as well, Alfred, but you can call him Alfie, Alfie, Alfred, it's very old school, like it gives me the whole like Samuel, David kind of vibe, like old school names, but Nicholas, you know those kind of names like Yes, but I think it's still very cute for a baby and for an adult as well. Like a baby, you can call him Alfie. When he's all grown, you can be like Alfred. I don't know, I like the name Alfred. <laughs> Alfred. I'm the meaning as well, Sage. If I didn't name um, Sage, Sage, it could have been Alfred. But I can't picture Sage not being Sage. <laughs> but I love Alfred. Alfie. Alfie sounds like a puppy. <laughs> it sounds like a puppy now I'm saying it. Alfie. Alfie, but Alfred, Alfred, I love Alfred as well too. I think it's a very cute name for a boy and for a man as well. Alfred, Alfred, Alfie. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Next on my list is Lucas, Luca, Lucas. It means bright, illuminate. But Lucas, Lucas, Luca, Lucas. Hmm, Lucas. I like Lucas. Lucas is nice. Like I mentioned, I like Nicholas, I like Francis, like just names like that can be, it's old school, it's been there, it's not like new school names, but I feel like they're still good as well too, and still a nice name to give a baby. Lucas. Lucas. Hmm. Lucas. I like Lucas. 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 You know I'm giving names? <laughs> when, I'm, <laughs> when I'm giving my kids names, not what I think of, I think of them being worldwide i don't think of them just being in nigeria so that's why even if i give them english names they must have their native names they must have like their traditional names that's fine as well but i just feel like having english names or names that are worldwide 
I don't know, just names that would suit anything. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, wherever you are in the world, your name just does not define you. If that makes sense. Like, you can have your native name. When you grow up, you can decide to use your native name. No problem. I believe in using your native name. Whether you can pronounce it or not, you must pronounce it. After all these names we are calling, Gucci, Jacques Mousse, all these things. It's the native names we are calling, right? So, they must learn to pronounce it. So, I believe in having your native name, but just to give them that option of you know a regular name as well that they can use so just giving them the options right so yeah i believe in that as well so so i think lucas is a very good name to use like for any profession anywhere you find yourself lucas 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 i love it <laughs> i love the name last but not the least a very biblical name a name from the bible that i just feel like is a very nice name matthew matthew is a very nice name i love matthew matt matt matthew <laughs> Matthew, I love the name Matthew. Like it's a very, like it's a name we all know, but it doesn't stop it from being a very nice name. No, there are names like that. Like we all know the name, but it is still a nice name, whether we like it or not. Matthew, Matthew, hi Matt, and it means gift of God. Like it has a very good meaning, gift of God. Matthew, gift of God is like it makes sense. Matthew, just like Elijah. I like Elijah as well too, but it's not my list. But I like like. Bible names like that, Elijah, Matthew. But I think I'll go for Matthew first before Elijah. But yeah, if you're doing Elijah, I can be like Eli, Eli, Elijah. But Matthew, gift of God, makes sense. I love Matthew as well. So yeah, those are my names for boys, like boy names. Very cute, even though you know the names, but I wouldn't say that that popular or that everywhere or like we bastardize. No, some names we've used too much. There's some names we know the names. <laughs> We know the names. Put the names in the comment section. I don't want to use my mouth to say, but we know the names that when we hear, it's everywhere. I just imagine them in class. There are like seven people in their class answering the same names. And it's so annoying because I'm sure when people are giving birth to their child, they might not even know is that common. And all of a sudden, just oh wait, let's not start raining. I don't like names that are raining. Everyone is not answering the same name. It can be so annoying. And there are a few names like that. But I feel like these ones are a bit, you know doesn't have the tendency of just being everywhere at least for now we don't know how next year will be or two years time everybody will start answering the same name but yeah <laughs> that's it so yeah for my unisex name is riley riley i have someone that has a daughter called riley you know yourself i love riley and i've always said that i want to use riley i want to use riley i love the name riley it's a unisex name but her daughter's name is riley i've heard a few girls called riley but it's it can be used for both boy or girl and i love the name riley Riley, Riley. I've always said it like I love Riley. It's always on my list from when I was pregnant with Sage, Liam, and now this baby. Anytime I put like my list of baby names, Riley is always on the list. Always on the list. But I don't know why I have not gotten myself to just choose the name Riley. I don't know why, but I would appreciate that name. I love it so much. It's a unisex name. So if you're planning on having a boy or a girl, I think Riley is like a very cute name. And it means courageous. Courage. Courageous. I think. It's a, it's a perfect name. I just like the sound of it. I love the sound of it. It's very... You can't help but just be happy when you call the name. I don't know. There's something about the name. Anytime I just hear Riley, it just makes me happy. It just makes me smile. Riley. Hi, Riley. My name is Riley. I love the name. Riley. <laughs> I love the name so, so much. All the names will be on the screen. Like, I'll spell it out so you guys will see how it's spelled. And, like I said, I've, I've tried as much as possible to pronounce it. And I hope I'm giving you guys the real pronunciation. But I think I have given you guys the real pronunciation for all these names. And the meaning as well. And, yeah, if you have other suggestions, let me know. Because I might have my list of names I want to use that I'm not sharing with you guys. But if you have some other names somewhere, suggest. Let me know if I'll change my own. <laughs> if I'll change the one I have, suggest in the comment section. Tell me the ones that. Your kids have, if you have like unique names, Igbo names, especially boys and girls, please, Igbo names, unique Igbo names, they're very necessary as well. And yes, yeah, since you guys are aunties and uncles of this baby coming, help me name the baby. So if the baby comes and you mistakenly get the name, you'll be like, yes, I gave the baby that name, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I'll definitely appreciate your input if you put some names below in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful for some of you out there planning to still give birth in the future or you're currently pregnant with me now. Or whatever it is, just I love the name. I love all these names. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.